Alright guys, uh, we're back and I'm working on the Emma Frost into the Dark Phoenix bust and as you can see it looks like a total mess but that's because uh, it's one of these days where I'm just chopping up stuff and I'm a mess, I got dust everywhere and I just don't want to handle anything that's being painted so a lot of my stuff is pretty much drying or done chopping for the day and I wanted to experiment with this some more. So. I had this stuff, uh, it's called Magic Smooth, it's not Magic Sculpt, it's Magic Smooth, and what it is, it's like a paste, and it's very, very pasty, and it's a mess, it's very hard to work with, very tough, uh, you mix A and B together, and basically, it's like kind of a paste, but it's not really a paste where it's friendly, it doesn't really like, smooth out like you would really want it to, but, I've had this stuff for so long that I decided, you know, let me just get rid of it before it goes bad. I, I haven't found many uses for it, but I thought maybe this would be a good use for it where I can stiffen up the armature and then start sculpting hair on it. So we'll get a little closer to show you what's going on. As you can see, uh, I kind of just uh, pasted it all over and it looks very nasty and it's just like, it almost looks like fiberglass, you know, kind of like how fiberglass kind of like just slaps onto something. And I guess that's pretty much what it is. But what this does is it's going to help strengthen all this and kind of bond it together. Uh, so as you can see, I filled in some areas over here. Uh, I filled in some over here. But to give you an idea, it's not going to be like just sloppy looking like that. As I get extra age, I start building up hair strands over here. So as time goes on and I start building, that's the kind of look I'm going to go for where this is all just kind of being stiff because I realized as I started sculpting here with the A's, because this wasn't really hardened and together, I was like moving the stuff a lot. So that's why I figured let me kind of do the same over here. Now, I don't know if I kind of like the way this flow is going yet because I kind of like the way the flow over here is going. So I might leave it, I might chop it up and build in again, I don't know. So this is, like I said, it's it's a year-long project. It's just making sure I don't waste A's, Magic Sculpt, and all that stuff. It just lets me keep filling in. Because you can see up over here, too, the white area, uh, that was a lot of Magic Sculpt I had one night. And then today I had some extra A's, so I put the A's in here. Uh, but this A's, this red, was kind of like the last of the box uh, of the two-part bottle. And it's been around so long, it was getting old, so I just figured let me burn that and I go on to the newer stuff. So this is kind of what I'm doing. I'm um, having fun with it. But you can see it's getting there, slowly. It's just kind of fun and it, it's a good way of making it hollow, but not actually, you know, making a big, huge, solid piece. It's just kind of using stuff that's around the house that's old, uh, experimenting, and just running with it. So this way I don't waste stuff, but have fun while I'm doing it. So that's kind of what I'm doing. And that's where I'm at. So we'll keep uh, updating as time goes on. Hey guys, uh, so uh, we're back. And uh, as you can see, it's starting to come together a little bit more. The other night I had a little bit of inspiration on this piece. I uh, got done with a lot of my stuff the other day. I must have woke up at like 8 in the morning. And before I knew it, it was like 10 o'clock at night. Everything was pretty much done. I was working on, stuff was drying. I was a total mess, but I still had energy and I still really wanted to sculpt. I just didn't want to stop for the night. So I figured... You know what, let's have some fun with this bus. So as you can see, uh, you know, I have Magic Sculpt shoved in here. I have put more Aves up here. I have Aves fix it up in here. So as I was using stuff, I keep building up the hair. But like I said, I had some inspiration the other night and I did order some more Aves. So what I did was I mixed up a bunch of Aves. I really wanted to do more with the hair. So what I did was I built out the bangs up here and I built out the bangs here. And as you can start to see, it's starting to come together a little bit more. Um, I know Dark Phoenix has different types of hairstyles, but I kind of wanted to have a little bit of a waviness and just have some fun with it. It's kind of just how I would see it and everything. So uh, also what I decided to do was I chopped off this big piece over here because it was too puffy over here. So I want to start doing some like curls and messing around. And uh, so it's just coming together slowly. And like I, there's times when I just have that, you know, drive or I got that, you know, itch to really uh, get something done and really just work on that one piece at that one time. And that's the way I like to work. I just, uh, I had that just just the energy came out of nowhere and I just said I gotta work on that hair. I, I'm just in the mood to do it. So, and that's what I did. So I mixed up a lot of A's and I really did do a big chunk here and I did a big chunk here. And like I said, if I was to actually sculpt A's from scratch and just fill here, I mean this right here would probably be like almost a whole half a tub of the four pound. It would be like two pounds here and it would be like two pounds over here as well. 
Uh, so basically, you know, it's sort of getting there slowly. I still got to keep building it up. Uh, you know, still a little bit messy here and there, and you know, I'm, I'm getting there slowly, and uh, just keep building it up. So that's where I'm going with. That's where I'm at. Uh, I think the next step now will probably be I might prime it up a little bit, uh, so this way I can start seeing the errors and where I really need to fill up and like sand down up in here now, get all that smoothed out. And it's very hard to see a piece when it's, you know, all different colors and messed up like this because you're not really seeing all your errors. So I'm going to have to hit it with the primer soon. Uh, I don't know when. I might, you know, build that a little bit more first, but it's definitely going to be hit soon. So that's where I'm at. Uh, hopefully you guys are liking the way it's coming out. It's a lot of fun. Nice, good experimenting. Like I said, if this was all filled in with A's, that would be like four pounds right there. But at least with this uh, built out, it's kind of... You know, I guess you like a lot of statues are rotocasted. This is kind of like the same uh, principle. It's kind of hollow, but you know, it works out pretty good. So that's where I'm at. Uh, we'll come back with more updates. Okay, guys, we are back, and it's been a couple days or maybe a week or so after the Wonderfest show and everything. So I kind of want to just finish up this part of the video of where I'm at. So what I did was I built out this area here a little bit more one night and then I decided to prime her up. So I primed her up and I let her sit and I didn't really go back to her. So I work in batches where I'm doing a lot of sculpting stuff at once and then I kind of, once they're all ready to paint, I start painting all those up and then I start doing another batch. Um, so I guess it was one day where I did a lot of sculpting, I did sanding and I did priming and everything was kind of like in its dry phase and I got done very early. So it's kind of good to have a project like this on the side where I can jump on this when I'm on my downtime. So, you know, I'm always doing something. I don't like to just sit there and not nothing going on. So I decided let's pull, pull her into the garage and just start, you know, sanding it down and fit, finding some errors. So there's a couple things here and there. You know, I saw some stuff sticking out. I didn't like the way certain, you know, stuff, you know, wasn't smooth. So I started smoothing stuff down, finding some errors. And, you know, I had some stuff all around the face because of the, uh, you know, safety solvent with the Aves. So as you can see around the cheek in here, that was all around there. So I sanded all that down and everything. So I was like, okay, I, I like where we're at. It's all primed up. I'm liking this section, you know, so we kind of just let her sit. You know, a couple of days later, I'm back to sculpting and everything. So you can see, you know, one day I patched up the hair there. Uh, it was just kind of like, you know, it was kind of like coming down and then up. So I fixed that. And then over one night over here, I had a lot of gap in there. You, I was able to like see the hollowness. So I filled up this section here and that kind of stopped here. I said, okay, that's enough. Let's not focus too much on the back because this is what I really wanted to focus on. So, as time went on, you know, I did more sculpting, so I built out this, I built out that, I built out here. So, looking at her at that angle now, I'm like, good, I really like the way it's looking, the hair is kind of flowing, it feels a little bit more like Dark Phoenix with puffy hair and everything than just, you know, that Emma Frost hair was kind of flat. I didn't like the way that looked. So, this is working good. The armature worked great. I'm really happy with that, you know, it kind of built it out where I didn't blow all that Aves but it still was secure because you know some people say you can use like you know tin foil but tin foil doesn't really glue or kind of be hard because if you smack it you could kind of you know break the resin you know the aves but because the fiberglass stuff is kind of like a resin and really hard it actually stiffens it up and it makes it really good armature so that's kind of like i like that experiment i for something in this scale it worked out pretty good so you know i uh was working on her, I let her sit, I haven't really looked at her for a day or two, and then, uh, you know, I was like, okay, I had somewhere, you know, magic sculpt one night, and I needed to burn it, but I didn't like the way this one hair piece was working out, and I was like, you know, it just didn't work out, and so I chopped that out, but it was kind of loose, and I could see all the hollowness, so I used some magic sculpt here, and then another night I used the A's, so, in essence, the statue is still hollow up on certain areas, now, when you buy the Emma Frost statue, you may not realize it, but, the size of a baseball or maybe your fist in the back of the head is actually hollow. So it's like kind of like a square in the head and it is hollow to like right about there I would say. And I guess that's just the way they made it because you don't really need that. I have all that thickness. I mean the face and everything is pretty much thick. It's not hollow thin where you could kind of like smack it and break it's thick. But what it was is I guess the hair was in three pieces and it had like a little bit of a key at an angle. And they just glued it in at the top. That's pretty much all they did. 
So in essence, this is the same theory of the way a lot of factories cast up bigger items. They're not always solid. They got some hollowness to them. So, you know, kind of just following that process in a way. Uh, so once I build this out and I get all this secured and I prime it up, I'll probably, you know, I, I can kind of see some areas where I'm seeing that, uh, you know, fiberglass and I got to sand those down. And if I sand too much and I realize I need to thicken it up, I'll have to drill and fill in a little bit more. But it's, you know, it's working out pretty good. So once this is set, I'll focus on the back. Now, I don't like the way some of this back is, and we'll kind of get in a little bit closer for you. So as you can see, that little batch right here, I don't like the way this is sticking out, but it was just kind of good. So the good stuff with this is if this was like um, tin foil, you could kind of cut it out, but then you, it, it gets all messy. With this, is even though it's hard resin type fiberglass, I could sand this down. And this could sand down. It gets a little bit messy like, you know, this around here. But at least it's, you know, sandable. Or choppable. And stuff like that. So, I'll focus on the back later on. But you figure, you know, I guess if she has this type of hair. The hair kind of comes down. And then as it gets to her back. It would be kind of like, you know, curly and everything. So, I'm just going to kind of like work on the strands coming down. A little bit of wave. But nothing too crazy like the sides. But I don't like the way this piece is here, and I don't like the way this is. So I got to kind of work all that out, but that's later. You know, we don't really want to focus on the back. But that's where I'm at. Having fun with it. Gives you an idea of, you know, from start to finish. I'm pretty sure in the first part of my videos, you're probably like, oh my god, what the hell is this going to turn into? You know, it's like, it's not looking right. But like I said, it was all an experiment. So it worked out pretty good to my advantage. So I think this fiberglass stuff is going to work for specific projects, at least in this scale. Maybe for a little scale, it might work too. But to open up a package and cut out a little piece and then you waste that whole roll, it kind of doesn't work out. So you got some pros and cons of everything. So, you know, that's where I'm at. Uh, so I think what we'll do is we'll be back with another video of part three down the line once uh, pretty much it's all finished up. And I can start thinking about painting her up because I'm really excited to paint her up. I think, you know, a really nice skin tone, some crazy eyeshadow, you know, some really nice, you know, you know lipstick. And then uh, maybe make some like fire type eyes or maybe some metallic -y pearl eyes. I don't know yet, but I'm just going to have fun with it and run with it. So I'm at that point where it's almost done and I'm starting to think about the paint work. So... We will be back once she's kind of, you know, getting finished up and then we can start doing some videos on the paintwork. So thanks for watching and we'll be back.